What have we got here? It's a box full of all new StickBot toys. Oh man, there's a ton of StickBot toys in here. Let's see what all we have. Oh man, this is pretty cool. It looks like a glow in the dark cat. We got part of the StickBot pet series. Oh man, we got the camera series with the tripod so we can make fun StickBot movies. Oh man, there's a ton in here. What all do we have? Let's dig in and find out. Yeah, dig through all this green fluff. Whoa, look at this one. This one's huge. It's a StickBot movie set. Oh man, this is really cool looking. I can't wait to try this one out. Let's see, what else? Is oh, neat. We got a StickBot bag. It's a sack that we can put all our StickBot figures in so we can go for adventures on the go with them. All right. Get all this little green stuff off of here. Is there more stuff? Oh boy, what else do we have? Ooh, a journal. Neat. So now we can write down our StickBot ideas and movie scripts. Let's see, is there anything else? Oh man, there's so much stuff in this box. Oh sweet, a StickBot t-shirt. That's pretty rad looking. I like red. It's a good color for a t-shirt. All right, is there anything else? Yes, there is. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. We got a plain Jane uh, brown StickBot figure. All right, let's start opening up all these fun StickBot figures we have. Okay, so here's our basic, basic plain Jane StickBot figure. He's pretty nifty looking, right? Let's get on in here and start playing with him. It's a really easy to open package, so I like that a lot. So, it's got a little back uh, sheet here to show what you can do with it. How you can make fun movies with your phone. Alright, let's see if we can pop them on out of here. Okay, so here is your basic StickBot figure. Oh wow, I love how poseable it is. So we can spin his head around, we can move his arms around, he can go high in the air, he can do splits or karate kicks. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> and he's got these little suction cups that'll stick to different things. So let's see if it'll actually stick to some of these boxes. Yep, look at that! <laughs> we can make him stick to boxes and climb walls. That's really neat. All right, so this is our basic figure that'll work as our movie star when we start doing uh, movies with them. Man, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll put him to the side for now. Next, we've got our StickBot pets. Here's a stick horse. Okay, so here's a little horse for our StickBot friend to ride. Again, these are super easy to open. I really like that. I suppose uh, they, you can also use these little cards for backgrounds. That's really good. I like the way they did the packaging so that you don't have to ruin it. And now you have little backdrops for your stick bot figure. So like, I can make this one stick to this building here. Ta-da! <laughs> and then I can make our stick horse stick as well. Let's see, where did stick horse go? Ah, here's stick horse, there we go. So stick horse works just like stick bot, where you can pose them in all kinds of different ways. He's got these little suction cups so that we can Stick them on to <laughs> here we go. Ta-da! It's a stick horse doing a handstand. <laughs> How neat is that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see what other kind of uh, stick bot pets we got. Let's see. Ooh, here's stick cat. I like cats a lot. Those are one of my favorite pets. So I'm glad we got a cat here. Once again, super easy to open. That's great. I'm glad we don't have to use any scissors. Okay, so we'll take out our little backdrop for our background, and then here's Stick Cat. I like the color on this one a lot. I don't think it actually glows in the dark, but it kind of looks like that glow-in-the-dark green, you know? So, here is Stick Cat! Yay! Oh, Stick Cat's really cute. I love these little ears. <laughs> Let's see if we can stick Stick Cat to something. Ta-da! Let's see if it'll hang upside down. Yeah! There we go! Stick Cat's hanging upside down! Whoops! <laughs> Kind of uh, didn't stick very long there, did it? <laughs> That's okay. Stick Cat, we'll put you over here with our other friends. Oh, I think that its tail moves too. Yeah, you can kind of see here the tail going up and down. That's neat. All right. Now let's get into our big play sets. Let's see what we got here. So this one has a stick dog and a stick bot figure with a tripod that we can use for our phone. That way we can uh, shoot little videos of our toys and then we can animate them and share them online with the hashtag StickBot. So just like our little toys, it's very easy to open. And it comes with this removable background here 
that we can use as a backdrop for our uh, our different movies. It even comes with a little QR code we can scan. I wonder what happens if we go there. Hmm, that's an interesting little addition. Okay, so we take off the front cover, and here is our green stickbot figure. Ha ha! Kind of reminds me of the Hulk, or maybe like a creeper from Minecraft. Yeah, I like that green. Okay, and he's got little black suction cups. So of course we can stick him to this little phone that we have. And now he's using he's using his phone. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, this one doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's our stick bot figure. And here's our stick dog figure. Oh, this is really nice. It's a blue stick dog. We can teach him to do all kinds of tricks like stand up and tap dance and <laughs> even hang upside down, I bet. Let's see, oh man, I love doing I love making them do handstands. Let's see if we can make him handstand. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. All right, so there's our stickbot dog. And here is our tripod. Now this is really neat. So what you can do is you can take your smartphone and you can stick it inside of this little brace right here. And then you can set it up and record movies with the stickbots as the stars. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll definitely have to check that out. Oh man, we're getting into the bigger sets now. Look at this one. Oh man, this is the full Zanimation Studio. So this includes a green screen, and that means that we can uh, insert different backgrounds behind the stick box. So they could be in space, or maybe underwater, or as you can see, they're crossing the street, or out in the desert. That's really cool. Okay, so let's see. Just open this up here. Ooh, it looks like it's got a two-in-one green screen stage, so we can use a, a green one or a blue one, depending on what color our stickbot figures are. That's pretty neat. All right, come on. Now, this one has a little bit of tape. Looks like it's a little bit trickier to open than our other ones. That's okay, because it's a, a really big set. Okay. Wow, what do we have here? Did I, did I get everything out of the box? Still feels like we got stuff in the box. What's in the box? Oh, yep, here's our, our backboard. So here's a green side and a blue side, depending on what kind of figures we want to use. So this is good because different figures will disappear depending on what color they are, right? So like if I put this blue dog in front of this blue background, you can't really see it, right? But you can see it if we put it in front of the green background. Isn't that neat? But likewise, this green guy kind of disappears into the green background. So we would have to put him in front of the blue one, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, I think we still have more in this box here. Man, this is a, such a cool playset. There's so many things in it. All right, here's our instructions and some more packing. What else do we have? Is that it? I think we finally got everything out of there. And I got hand all the way in there. I don't feel anything else. Okay. So now we've got this little block right here. And I think, are these blocks? Do they come apart? Is there something inside them? No, I think they're just stages. So like we would have a, a green stage to stand our figures on. Oh, or maybe you insert this into them somehow. Oh, I bet that's what you do. I bet you have to do some assembly here to make a little stage for your for your backdrop. So we got two blocks that are green on one side, blue on the other. So they're ready if we need to use the green screen or the blue screen. Cool. And then we got two stickbot figures. And these are orange and red, so they would really work on either the green or the blue screen. Oh, having some trouble getting this one open. There's a little bit of tape, and that's why. There, we, go. we gotta just get that tape off. Still don't have to use our scissors, so that's good. All right, so we have another tripod to set up for using our camera to film on. So we'll put that aside for right now. And now we have an orange stick bot and a red stick bot. Can we stick them together, I wonder? Yeah, we can, so they can be buddies and they can do a, a friendship fist bump. <laughs> Ooh, I bet we could even make a chain of them. Hang on, hang on. Let's put the, uh, let's put the green one on the end here. <laughs> and now we've got a chain of stickbot figures. Look at that, we got orange, red, and green. <laughs> That's cool, I bet we can make them all stick together like this. To one big pyramid. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> They're best buds. All right, man, I got all kinds of ideas for fun little movies we can shoot with these. Okay, but let's open up our biggest playset yet. Oh man, this one looks huge. We've got a ton of stuff on here. We've got, uh, looks like a farmhouse, and we can even make a little shed out of the, the cardboard. Ooh, and they have uh, outfits for our stickbot figures. So we've got stick-on clothes. We've got a full set. Oh man, this looks really neat. 
We can make a little cowboy or farmer stick pots. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okie dokie. Oh man, look at all these fun uh, little accoutrements that our figures have. Okay, so here, oh yeah, it's actually a farmer stick pot. Those aren't stick on clothes, they're actually already on the figure. So that's neat. Check that out. Oops. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. So we got a little farmer stick bot. We got a hat that we can put on him. Like this. <laughs> and he's got all kinds of farming tools like shovels and rakes and gardening pails and hedge trimmers. All the things that a farmer needs. Oh, okay. So he can work his garden. And that's not all, I don't think. Okay, let's see. We got these other things. I think these are little brackets that'll help put the sets together. And he's got a saw and a spade. Man, he's got all kinds of cool little tools that he can use. I'm amazed at just the level of detail in this set. All right, I can feel something that's a little bit squishy. What is that? Oh, it's a foam board. Okay, okay. So that's gotta be part of the set, right? Building the set. Whoa! Check this out. All right, I think we got everything out of the box. Yeah, we got everything out of the box. So this is actually our movie set. Oh, neat. So we actually take it uh, apart and we assemble it together, kind of like Legos, in a way. And it's a good thing it has instructions because I don't know if I could figure this out on my own. All right, so we can take off this wrapping. And here's our instructions that tell us how to assemble it, neat. Ooh, and here are all of the different set pieces. So we'll punch these out of the cardboard and then we can assemble them and shoot a movie in front of it. How neat is that? And then I think this is the uh, the ground for it. So this would be like a dirt road. If we flip it over, we have a, a you know a big green pasture. So we can put like uh, a little floor background like this, and then we'll punch out these different uh, these different cardboard pieces, and we can put like a little a little house on the prairie like this, and then we can use that as a backdrop to film our stickbot figures. Oh man, I can't wait to start filming with these. These are a lot of fun. All right, so let's take a look at a few of the stick bots that we got. We got our original brown stick bot. Let's see if we can stick them all together. We got uh, we'll stick them like that, and we got our stick dog, stick dog up here, and then we have stick cat. There we go, and then we have a uh, stick horse. I think there's one more that we have. I think it's uh, the stick farmer. So, okay, I don't know if these will all be able to pull each other up. Let's look at them one by one. Here we go. Stick farmer, stick horse, stick cat, stick dog, stick bot brown, green stick bot, red stick bot, and orange stick bot. All right, check out all these cool figures. It's time to open up all new Blaze toys from Blaze and the Monster Machines. We've got the Grizzly Bear Truck, the Ankylosaurus Truck, and Starla. Let's open up this Grizzly Bear Truck first. Let's see what it says on the box. It says it's a wild, growling Grizzly Bear Truck that lives in the forest outside Axel City. This guy will chase anyone who wakes him up, even Blaze. All right, let's open him up here. Get it to see our Grizzly Bear Truck. What kind of noises do Grizzly Bears make? Do they roar? They go, roar! <laughs> All right, oh, this is a cute truck. <laughs> it looks like a cuddly bear, doesn't it? You can see it has this fur all over it. It makes it nice and shiny. It has a luxurious coat. I bet he eats all of his kibbles and bits. <laughs> that grizzly bear truck looks really cool. Let's make him do a flip, huh? Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, that's a really fun monster machine. We'll put our grizzly bear right down here. Next, let's open up our Ankylosaurus truck. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Ankylosaurus? <laughs> this is Zeg's prehistoric pal from Dinosaur Valley. He's designed with strong, spiky armor and a tail of horns. Let's see, he puts on an earth-shaking show at the Dinosaur Parade. Well, let's check him out. Let's open up our Ankylosaurus truck. Come on out, Ankylosaurus. All right, almost got him. Here we go, here's our Ankylosaurus truck. Oh man, check out these cool spikes he has. 
He's got a nice blue siding and a light blue head, but he's got these yellow spikes on him. Do they go up or down? Oh man, it'd be really cool if they like retracted and, and came back out. That'd be really neat. But still a pretty cool dinosaur truck. I like him a lot. I wonder what kind of noises he makes. I don't know, maybe he just makes road racing noises like <laughs> I like watching him go back and forth like a seesaw. That's pretty cool. All right, we got just one more Blaze Monster Machine toy to open up, and it's Starla. She's one of Blaze's best friends, right? She's a hooting and hollering cowgirl cow machine. She's quick with her lasso and quick with a country song. <laughs> I like her cowgirl hat. That's pretty neat. Let's open her up. All right, come on out, Starla. Let's check you out. Okie dokie, here we go. This is Starla. She's a nice, pretty purple color. Wow, look how, how purple that is. I really like that color. You can see she's got her little lasso on the side of her door. She's got her little sheriff hat. Oh, I wish we could take the hat off and put it back on, but it's still a pretty neat toy. Let's see her do a little rodeo ride, huh? Wee hoo, ride 'em, cowgirl! Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of fun. Let's take a look at all of our Blaze and the Monsters Machines toys together. We have the Grizzly truck, we have Starla, and we have the Ankylosaurus truck. All right, it's time to open up all new toys from Care Bears. We have this fun Care Bear figurine set with posable arms featuring Tender Heart Bear, Cheer Bear, Grumpy Bear, Funshine Bear, and Share Bear. All right, let's open them up so we can start playing. Let's see here. This looks like it'll be a pretty easy playset to get into. Yeah, it just came right off there. We have a fun little background for our adventures. We'll actually put that aside so we can save it to play with them. All right, now let's just see if we can open up this part here. We take off this front cover. Ooh, these are such colorful Care Bears. Look at them. Let's get out Tender Heart Bear first. Let's see how tricky they are to get out. They're not hard to get out at all. Yay. Woo, some popped out too. All right, here's Tender Heart Bear. Yay. <laughs> we can move their arms. Uh, we can't move their legs, I don't think. Do their heads move? Nope, just their arms. That's okay. Tender Heart Bear is a brown bear with a red heart. That's really cute. They have a little heart on their bum too. <laughs> Put them down over here. Next up, let's get out Share Bear. Share Bear is a purple bear with two lollipops on their tummy. They like to share with their friends. So once again, we can throw up their arms. Whee! <laughs> and see, they also have a little Care Bear heart on their bum. <laughs> that's cute. All right, can't move the head, that's right. But it's a pretty purple Care Bear. Okay, let's see who's next. Looks like next in line is Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear is a very happy bear. Okay, Cheer Bear is a very happy bear. This nice, lovely pink color, and they have a rainbow on their tummy. It's so colorful and fun. Oh, I didn't even notice that their little noses are hearts, too. That's super cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what other Care Bears we have. Ooh, looks like next up is Funshine Bear. Funshine Bear is a yellow bear, and I bet they love to play outside. They look like they love being in the sunshine. They love sunshine so much that it's on their belly. They've got this happy sun. <laughs> That's really cute. There's our yellow Care Bear, Funshine. All right, last up <laughs> is Grumpy Bear. Looks like Grumpy can feel a little bit blue sometimes <laughs> because they actually are blue. And they've got a cloud, a rainy cloud on their tummy. But that's okay, it's okay to feel sad sometimes. We always have friends that help us make it feel better. All right, so we've got a blue Care Bear, that's Grumpy Bear. Let's take a look at all of our Care Bears together. Let's see, we have Cheer Bear, we have Grumpy Bear, we have Funshine Bear, we have Share Bear, and of course, Tender Heart Bear. All right, here's all of our Care Bears. Whip doggy, it's time to open up all new toys from Sheriff Callie's Wild West. 
We have a nice and friendly corners figure pack here with Sheriff Callie herself and all of her friends, including Deputy Peck, Toby, Priscilla Skunk, and Sparky. All right, well, let's open them up and get inside so we can start playing with our Sheriff Callie's Wild West toys. Who knows? All right, looks like it's pretty easy to open up here. And we'll just have them mosey on out. Here's Sheriff Callie. Oh, looks like they got a little bit of a rubber band holding them down in there, so we're gonna have to get that on out of here. Come on, get on out there, Sheriff Callie. There we go, here's Sheriff Callie herself. She's a calico cat and she's the sheriff of the town. Isn't she neat looking? She doesn't move her arms or anything, but I really like her hat, her nice pink hat. She's got a fun little tail, these cute little pink boots. <laughs> That's really cute. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's get out, pet. Come on out, pet. All right, he didn't have any rubber bands holding him in. All right. So it's not every day you see a cat and a bird being friends, but <laughs> these two get along just great, don't they? And Peck's a pretty red color, as you can see here. He's got a fun little cap on his head, and he's got a little deputy sheriff badge, and he stands on this star right here, so we'll put him right over here next to Sheriff Kelly. Yes, we will. And let's get out on Toby next. Come on, Toby. It's Cactus Toby. <laughs> Toby's a cactus, so he's green. He's got these, these little prickles on him. Don't worry, they're not too sharp. You're not going to actually prick your fingers or nothing. And he's got a little cowboy hat. That's pretty neat looking. He's pretty fun. We'll put him over here next to Sheriff Kelly. Oh, we got Sheriff Kelly's horse. No, looks like he's uh, got a little rubber band stuck around him. Let's see here. I believe that this is Sparky. Sheriff Callie's noble steed. All right, he's a blue horse. Does he turn his head at all? No, it looks like he should turn his head, but he doesn't. So, put him right here. I wonder if we can make Sheriff Callie ride him. So she's kind of on that star, it might be a bit tricky, but he might be able to balance him on there. Oops! <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Let's see here, let's see if we can put her on like that. Is she gonna stay? Oh, oh. No, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Nope, she's not quite going to stay up there. That's okay. We'll just put them next to her. And next up, let's get Priscilla Skunk out. Come on out, Priscilla Skunk. Let's see. Okay, she doesn't smell too bad. That's all right. Normally, you want to stay away from skunks, but she looks like she's a, a right nice lady. She's got a pretty little pink hat with a feather in it and a rose and cute little pink parasol and a cute pink dress. Uh, she looks like a very fun skunk to be around. All right, let's take a look at all of our Sheriff Callie's Wild West characters together. We got Priscilla Skunk. We got Sheriff Callie herself. We got Sheriff Callie's horse, Sparky. We got Toby the Cactus. And we got Peck. All right, there we go. Here's all of our Sheriff Callie's toys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and be a good friend to everybody around you. If you really like this video, try checking out some of these other ones. They're a lot of fun too, partner.